Mastering the Art of the Death Stare, a guide to understanding its power and communication. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into an intriguing expression in the English language, give the death stare. This phrase might sound intense, but it's a common expression used in various contexts. Understanding it can add an interesting layer to your English communication skills. So, let's unravel the mystery behind this powerful look. When someone gives the death stare, they look at another person very intensely or angrily, as if with the intention to harm or intimidate, without using words. It's not about actual harm. Instead, it's a non-verbal way of expressing strong disapproval, anger, or annoyance. The death stare can freeze its recipient in place, conveying emotions louder than words could. The term Death stare might sound dramatic, but it's a hyperbolic expression, meaning it's an exaggeration used for effect. It likely originated from the intense look one might give when extremely upset or angry. Over time, it has become a common phrase in English to describe a look that could kill, figuratively speaking. It's used both in casual and formal contexts often adding a touch of humor or seriousness to conversations and storytelling. Identifying a death stare involves noticing the intensity in the giver's eyes, the firmness of their facial muscles, and often a complete silence that accentuates the stare's impact. It's a universal expression, not limited to any specific culture making it a powerful tool in non-verbal communication across languages and regions. Receiving a death stare can be unsettling. If you're on the receiving end, it's important to assess the situation. Sometimes, the best response is to address the issue directly and calmly, asking if something is wrong. Other times, giving the person some space is the wiser choice. Understanding the context is key to responding appropriately. The death stare is a fascinating aspect of English language expression, showcasing how powerful nonverbal communication can be. Whether you're giving one, on the receiving end, or simply observing, understanding this expression can enrich your communication skills and cultural understanding. We hope this video sheds light on the intriguing world of nonverbal cues in English. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to practice your communication skills, both verbal and nonverbal.